glad that you're here with us. I just wanted to let you know that we will not be having Sunday school next week or the next week. So December 27 and January 3, we will not be having Sunday school. But we are very excited about some new things we're going to try for January 10 and into the spring for Sunday school next year. So be on the lookout for that. That'll come back on January 10. Once again, it'll get posted at 7 in the morning every Sunday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sunday School Music. I wanted to use one of the songs that we always use. We always use a song called uh, Light the Advent Candle. I'm going to just sing the melody so that you can hear it. And then we're going to light the Advent wreath and you can sing along with me. But the music goes like this. La, 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 about when we light the Advent candle, and then there's a refrain part, and the refrain part goes like this. Candle, candle burning bright, shining in the cold winter night. Candle, candle burning bright, fill our hearts with Christmas light. And I bet some of you will remember that. Light the Advent candle one. Now the waiting has begun. We have started on our way. Time to think of Christmas Day. Candle, candle burning bright. Shining in the cold winter night, candle, candle burning bright, fill our hearts with Christmas light. Light the Advent candle too, think of humble shepherds who filled with wonder at the sight of the child on Christmas night. Candle, candle burning bright, shining in the cold winter night. Candle, candle burning bright, fill our hearts with Christmas light. Light the Advent candle three, think of heavenly harmony, angels singing peace on earth at the Savior's birth. Light a candle burning bright, shining in the cold winter night. Candle, candle burning bright, fill our hearts with Christmas light. Light the Advent candle for, think of joy forevermore. Christ child in a stable born, gift of love that Christmas morn. Candle, candle burning bright, shining in the cold winter night. Candle, candle burning bright, fill our hearts 
with Christmas light. I have another little Advent song to teach everybody. It's called Wait for the Lord. I think of it as a musical prayer. And I want you to listen to just the melody part. Listen carefully. Wait for the Lord whose name is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Okay. Now listen to it with all the music, listen. Wait for the Lord whose name notes that go around it. I love, love, love that sound. I hope that maybe this week that you can sing that at some point because that's what we're doing through Advent. We're waiting for the Lord and waiting for Christmas. So today we have our friends Jack and Henry and Ella with us again. We're really glad that you're here. I, has anybody looked in your, your Sunday school bag? Because there's only one thing left in the bag right now. Uh-huh. It's this, right? Yeah. Okay, and it's these pictures. Uh, Just like this. Pictures. And this. Yeah. Now, since three weeks ago, we started doing something we called the Jesse Tree. And we're coloring pictures of all sorts of things that tell us about Jesus. And everything that happened before he was born, that God did to make everything just right for when he'd be born. Okay? And we have our last six pictures today. And Vicar Katie has the first one. What does that look like? Homes under stars. Homes under the stars. It's a little town. It's called Bethlehem. I knew that place. You know that place. What's that place? Where Jesus was born. Yeah, born. yeah. Bethlehem is the town where they went and Jesus was that born. That the board. Yeah, and so we have a, a picture here to remind us. Of the yeah. star to point us to where Jesus was born. Okay. okay. The next one we have is this. Now, that was this is glass with fire in it. It does look like a glass with fire in it. Yeah. And what it reminds us of is two people called Zechariah and Elizabeth. Do you know anybody named Zechariah? No. Probably not. You might know somebody named Elizabeth or Lizzie or Beth or something like that. But Zechariah is a really old-fashioned name. Kind of neat name, though. And they were really old people. And they didn't have any children. But they prayed to God. And God said, you know, even though you're old, I'm going to give you a son. You're going to have a son. And his name is going to be, well, you'll find out from Vicar Katie. That's our next window. But, but God blessed them and said, your son's going to be very important. And one of the neat things is, Zechariah and Elizabeth, they're going to turn out to be the aunt and uncle. So, what was their son's name, Victor Katie? Their son's name was, not Jesus, but... Uh, God. No. Jesus. What does this look like? A seashell. A seashell with some water in it. And it's a reminder of baptism because their son, Zechariah and Elizabeth's son, was named John. And he went by John the Baptist. And we call him that because he was baptizing people in the river. And you know who he baptized eventually? Jesus. Jesus. He was six months older than Jesus. So do you have any cousins? Yeah. Are they older or younger than you? Younger. Younger. Okay, so you're the older ones. Okay. Well, anyway, the next one that we're going to color looks like this. Ooh. And this, what's that look like to you? A flower. It looks like a big flower. A yeah. Pink. 
A pretty one, yeah. And pink on it. There is pink on it, which is a wonderful color. And gray. Isn't it? Yeah. Just, just like your pants. Yeah. And gray and green. Yeah. This is a flower that we sometimes use to remind us of Mary. And red on it. Yeah, the person who was the mother of Jesus. Sometimes she's called a rose. And so this is kind of a, a stained glass window kind of rose to remind us of Mary. Think it was important that she was the mother of Jesus? Mm -hmm. I think it was a pretty important thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who do you have next? Mm -hmm. I have, let me put that down here so you guys can see it. We have the hammer. And Noah built the ark. And, oh, not when Noah built the ark. A different person who built things. His name was Joseph. Joseph. And he was married to Mary. And he was like a, a foster dad or a guardian to Jesus, right? Because God's Jesus' is father. And so we have Joseph here who promised that he would stay with Mary and help take care of the baby. Because babies are a lot of work, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so Joseph promised that he would stay and he would love Jesus and he would raise Jesus. And he was a carpenter that built things. So we have a hammer and nails and a piece of wood Mine. to remind us. So we've, we've talked about Mary and Joseph. And, and they not go and his cousin. There's one more person we need to talk about. On Christmas Eve, who do you think this, this is for? Why is super pink a star? Because who do you think the star is to remind oh, us of? There's one person missing in our story. Jesus. Jesus, yeah. exactly. And the star shone that night, and people came to see Jesus. The shepherds came to see Jesus. Okay. And the star reminds us of Jesus. Can you tell me what the X's are for? We will. And so that's the last one. And when you get done to that one, it's going to be Christmas Eve. And that's when we start to celebrate Jesus' birth. And the next day is Christmas Day. So we're almost to that. So that, pull out the last packet in your, your bags that you have. Get those all colored and hang them up so that you can be telling the whole story of Jesus with the Jesse tree symbol. Vicar Katie, do you want to say a prayer for us? <laughs> yes. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us and for reminding us that Jesus loves us all the time and for giving us all these cool symbols to remind us of the long story that, that leads to Jesus and the love you have for us now and forever. Amen.
Step. Step.